just real quick before I fly out of here. Uh, these are little chucks that I added to my no cry devices because you can put a Bauer, which is the hazard fright label battery, into these because they have poorly designed tolerances for here. In other words, if you look at the distance between this and this on the device for no cry versus the charger, I've got a Von House, but it's the same manufacturer here. By the way, if you're looking for a cheap no cry charger, these are eight bucks. But if you look at the diff distance or the difference between here and here and here and here on the tool, you cannot take a Bauer battery and fit it in a no cry charger. Likewise, you cannot take a no cry battery and fit it in a Bauer charger. But you can fit a Bauer battery in a no cry tool. Right? So let's get the micrometer out and I'll show you. I got it set on millimeters, don't be offended. We're just going to go from side opening to side opening on here, as you can see. All right, what's the reading? 50 millimeters, 50.06. But if we look at the charger and we do the same measurement, you see I can't fit the collipers in there anymore. I have to make them smaller. And the reading is 46.95. So the difference between 47 millimeters and 50 millimeters makes all the world a difference because if you take a battery from Bauer and they look about the same, they don't look a whole lot different. So grab about Bauer battery here. There we go. We got the Bauer 20 volt lithium. You can, without that chuck, you can pretty easily slide this battery into the into the no cry. What's the, what's the what's the distance on here? Spacing 50.3. So there's 0.3 millimeters of difference, and the plastic housings on here is enough, it'll it'll fit in here. You'll be able to shove the Bauer battery in here, and the contacts line up. The problem is that on the no cry, let's turn this battery around. On the no cry battery, come on, focus. On the no cry battery, they made this positive and this negative, but on the Bauer battery, this is positive and this is negative. So what you end up doing when you put your Bauer battery in your no cry device is you end up frying the MOSFET because you put negative 20 volts across the terminals and that fries the speed controller. It'll still turn on, but you won't have any speed control. Now here's an a Von House slash no cry battery. It'll fit in this tool even with this extra chuck I put in here. And with one hand, I can easily slide it in the tool, no problem. Right? But now that I have that chuck in there, if I try to get this Bauhaus in there, or Bauer, I'm sorry, Bauer, I cannot get this battery inside the tool. Right? It won't go in. I purposely had that chuck had a hard lip. That inset have a hard lip so that you cannot get a battery in there. And therefore you cannot burn out your no cry tool. Your nice ugga dugga gun. With a Bauer battery. So the dimensions for the little piece of metal that you need to bend. You just get yourself some tin. Like here. Real thin. You bend something that looks like this. Although this isn't exactly 
correct. This is something that was too, too big. Looks like that. Looks like that on the end. Let's get this stuff out of the way here. Fabulous pointer here. So on the on the Ugga Dugga gun, you have to have an offset because of the way that the crit in here it's not completely flush. So you do 6.45 millimeters. These are the outer measurements when the piece is done. So you might have to make this a little bit smaller in order to come up with the right overall dimensions. But this is the overall dimensions when it's finished. 6.45 on the short side. 7.42 on the long side and 6.50 on this side and then the length of it depends now on the on the drill you can make both sides 7.42 on the Ugga Dugga gun you got to make it 6.45 on the drill the total length is 59 millimeters now I don't have my drill assembled but that's based on a measurement of here you see how this stops about halfway it does that because I made two of these for the Ugga Dugga gun and then I realized I only need one one is enough on one side to stop you from accidentally inserting the battery and there's this extra room here that's a total of 59 millimeters the length of this piece is um, 37 millimeters because you want to stop the battery before you get it close to the contacts before you get it inserted at all so ideally your stop piece that you make should come right up to here and it shouldn't be forced back over time as you shove batteries in so ideally it should be the whole length of this canal on the Ugga Dugga gun they designed the bottom a little differently uh, by the way the company is Jingling Tools out of China that makes these they also make the Von House brand that's why they're cross compatible and on the Ugga Dugga gun, I'm going to see if I can show you with the light. I have to move it off my head and kind of move it around. On the Ugga Dugga gun, you can see there's a little bit of a extra bit of molding. Let me try to get the light on it. See that? How it changes? You can't quite see it on the camera but anyway there's a little extra bit of molding and uh, that means you have to have kind of an offset and then you can see there's a screw on both sides there's a screw and so that limits the depth so that depth is only uh, what did I say 37 millimeters from here to here to the screw and if I flip that around that gun around all right, that's it with the piece installed. And like I said, just one on one side is enough to stop you from accidentally inserting a Bauer battery and blowing your MOSFETs, basically blowing your tool up. The contacts are the same distance from each other as on the Bauer, but the polarity is swapped. So that's what you're looking at. Just add that little piece of metal, jam it in there, and then you won't have a problem. I'll show you what it looks like on the face again so you can get an idea about how far it has to jut out. That's on the Ugga Dugga gun, which I tested. I have it together. And this is on the drill, which should work, but I don't have it assembled because I'm waiting for a MOSFET to come in. You see how it sticks out? That should be enough. If it doesn't, I'll make a chuck for the other side or I'll completely remake this one and make it stand out a little more proud and make it the whole length of the canal when I finally assemble everything together.